and fellettes. You guys follow me, you know where we're at. I know it's been a while. I haven't done a cooking video in a while. Uh, been busy with other stuff, as you guys have probably seen if you're following the channel. Um, if you're not welcome, smash that subscribe button. Hopefully, hit the like button. Share. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Don't do any of it. Any who's in way, we're bringing something to you today that I saw the recipe for, and I said, you know what, Brad, let's do that one. Let's do a cooking video. It's been a hot minute, right? Chicken. Um. <clears throat> Pineapple chicken and rice. And a guy likes his shrimp, so we're doing shrimp too. So we're gonna do pineapple chicken and rice and pineapple shrimp and rice. Sure, why not? All right, so we got the chicken breast. Chicken breast this is. We've got a red pepper, bell pepper, an orange bell pepper. We got lemons and limes. Now, don't hate on a guy. To save time, I went ahead and did the canned pineapples, okay? It is what it is. You're going to need some of this minced Italian cologne, the garlic, sesame seeds, sesame. I'm using lime pepper, onion powder. You're going to need chicken broth. You're going to need rice. I got the, the flat top heating up right now. We're going to get the cook, the chicken cooking. We're going to cube it. Cube your chicken, fellas and fellas. Cubes. So I'm going to get to working on that. I'm going to get the chicken cubed. I got the grill heating up. We're going to use a little EVOO on here. Um, I'm going to get the chicken cook cubed up. And then I'm going to get the vegetables diced up. And then we're going to start doing the thing. So stand by one. I'm going to get the veggies cut up. So we're going to go ahead and dice on some bells of the peppers. Bells of the pepper. Peppers with a bell. I don't know. Whatever. Ooh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. You guys do this however you want. You know, there's no right or wrong way. I say that all the time. How you dice up your bell peppers is your business. Right? Sure. Careful you don't cut any phalanges off. You'll have a mess. And you won't finish your dinner because you'll be taking a trip to the ER. That's never fun. Now we're going to saute these down with a little bit of EVOO. Uh, you can use butter if you'd like. You know, it's just all up to you. The extra virgin olive oil is a little healthier. And if you want to go even healthier, go with the um, avocado oil. It's a little more expensive, fellers and fellas. But it's healthier. Whoop, making a mess. What else is new? But it's healthier, so, you know, and it's got a good flavor to it. A lot of folks say, oh, look up. I just got squirted in the eye by the pepper. Moses Sandals. She's a wet one. <laughs> um, a lot of people say they don't like avocados. I'm one of those people. Hate avocados. Won't eat them. I mean, I can eat it in sushi, but that's about it. I won't eat guacamole. I won't eat avocados. Unless it's in a sushi of some type. That's the only way I'll get down on the avocados. But the oil, it's got good flavor to it, and it's healthier. I don't have any. Forgot to get it today. So we're just going to use EVOO, the extra virgin olive oil. Not Popeye's girlfriend. First, cr first cold press olive oil. All right. Well, I'm going to finish getting these diced up, and I'll be back with you. And we're on to the chicken breast. So like I said, again earlier, like I said earlier, uh, we're going to cube these. Um, I always cut the fat off. Optional. You guys don't have to if you don't want to. But I do. So, these things are wet. Moses. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off all this white stuff. Known as fat. I don't like, you hey, don't cook it, I get it off, it's going to be dry. No. I've cooked some of the juiciest chicken cutting the fat off, so it does not apply. You just got to know how to cook. So we're going to cut all this off, and then we're going to cube it. And then I've got a mixture of seasonings that we're going to let it just kind of take a bath in for a little while. And uh, while I get some other stuff ready here. 
Somebody says to me the other day, you ever thought about going on one of Gordon Ramsay's shows? No. Because I like cooking the way I like to cook, and I like taking my time. And you can't take your time there. Me and the wife partake in watching them shows, and I do enjoy watching them. And I think it would be really awesome to cook in the kitchen with Chef Ramsay. But, I just, not my style. I would much rather just go at my own pace and do my own thing rather than have somebody barking at me, telling me to hurry up, calling me a donut and a cow and everything else because I don't do it his way. All right, so we got the fat cube to cut off that one. We're going to start cutting this up. Cube it. Slice it. Do whatever you want. It just says cubing it in the recipe. So, you know the deal. Generally, you say one inch cubes, but I'm just going with the flow here. And that's the way I like to cook. And this is something where, like I was just saying, old Chef Ramsay would probably be freaking out. One inch cubes, you donut! Well, whatever. These are going to cook down quite a bit, too, so... I probably should be doing a little bit bigger so they're not like little tiny pieces, but it's fine. Just cooking for me and the wife. The other thing too is, is plate presentations. You know, sometimes I'm really good at it and sometimes I suck at plate presentation. And that's one of those things you gotta, you know, you're making trophy dishes for some high-end chefs. Chef Blaze, Chef Arrington. I don't know who else has been on the shows, but obviously Chef Ramsey, right? So, yeah, anyways, I digress. It'd be fun, but not my style, I guess is what I'm saying. And honestly, I don't, I mean, I'm a good cook. I make some delicious meals, but I don't think I'm good enough to be on Master Chef or Next Level Chef or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, You know, shout out to... Gary, the barbecue chef, he went on, and that dude's a phenomenal chef, and he didn't make it past the first round. The next level chef, and I thought for sure he would kill and have killed it. He's a social media chef on YouTube and the Tickama Talks. Go check him out. Gary, the barbecue chef, phenomenal, hilarious dude. Um, makes some. He, he does the big, in the big into the smoking stuff. Another thing I'm not real big into, a lot of the social media chefs are big into, is the smoking. Not my style, not my thing. Anywho, I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, so off camera, we got this here. I did um, a whole lemon, half of a lime, there's black pepper, there's EVOO in this. So what we're going to do, since I'm using minute rice, we don't have to worry about cooking the rice because we're just going to do that in the microwave real fast. So we're just going to go ahead and let this go on the grill. Just like so. We're going to let that cook. And then the same thing with the veggies. Now you could do this together. Normally you would. I'm not because the wife's not a fan of the, the bell peppers and stuff. So I'm going to do the peppers separate. Then the chicken. Normally you could do this all together. So it should go pretty quick. I'm going to thin these out. Try to get an even cook on them. Keeping them separated from the chicken, obviously. Now, the chicken. I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. Little onion. Well, I can't find my spice now. Garlic there. A little bit of garlic powder. And we're going to use a little bit of the Italian cologne, too, the minced garlic. Keep everything moving, too, so you don't burn nothing. Now 
I do have this on the half cool side here so they don't get away from me. Chicken's on the hot side. I say cool, but it's still pretty hot over here. But not hot enough where stuff's going to burn. And that's what you want, obviously. So, I'm going to use a little bit of this stuff here. A little of the Italian cologne. Woo! Stinky. That's strong. Sure, one tablespoon, teaspoon, one teaspoon, and then just mix it all in. Don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way, especially with this stuff. It's strong. A little bit of minced garlic. Mmm, -hmm. look at that. Chicken's cooking up nice. Flat. And then towards the end, what we're going to do, the pineapple. They don't need to be super, they don't need to be cooked. So you're just going to put it on, you got like two minutes left to go with the rest of this stuff. Throw the pineapple on, get your rice cooking. Now the recipe does call for jasmine rice, we just did plain white rice. It's easier that way for us in the house here. We got four dogs, so when the dogs get an upset stomach, we give them rice. We cook with rice a lot, so rather than just buying strictly jasmine rice, I just bought a big box of white rice, white minute rice. So, makes more sense for us. But you can follow the recipe if you want to. No harm, no foul there. The same with these, you know, we just get them soft. You know, I like, I actually like them crunchy. So, I probably won't get them too, too soft, but... Ain't gotta go crazy, is what a guy's saying. Alright, we're gonna tag these with some black pepper. Put these with some black pepper. Not a lot, because the wife don't like it spicy. I do. Okay. And a little bit of lime pepper here. What? I can't hear you. Miss Old Plain Jane, she calls herself. Yeah. Little Miss Plain Jane. We'll use some of the garlic powder on the veggies. Nothing wrong with that, though. You like what you like, and it is what it is. Alright. Looking good in the neighborhood. We're going to do a little lime action on the peppers here. Give it a little citrus. A little tang, if you will. Start out with a hot whether you're doing it in a pan or on the flat top or whatever, just start out with a hot griddle, a hot surface, whatever it is you're using, and it shouldn't take too long. You should be able to get this stuff in and out faster than your favorite shampoo. All right, let's check the chicken here, moving around, getting nice and golden brown. Yeah, look at that, I like it. Chicken's cooking fast. Obviously you want to make sure you cook your chicken to temp so it's safe. So the juice is run clear, no pink in the middle, or what's chicken I think, 165 internal temp or something like that? I don't remember. I usually just take the fattest piece and cut it open and See if it's still pink on the inside. If it is, it goes a little bit longer. There's the rest of that lemon in there. 
maintain the zip. Freshness. Take a look. Here's a nice big thick piece. No, still a little pink. I won't let it go for a few more minutes. Obviously, here. Nice and soft, though. Man, pulling apart nice. Another thick one there. We'll try that one. Yeah, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. What? Yeah. The uh, selfie stick you got me, I'm using. Maybe I can talk her into help me with the rice. Uh -huh. No? Not tonight? Okay. Guess I'm on my own tonight. I'm letting the dogs out. I got feet on. Alright. I got my own to do. Okay. I tell you what, this is looking and smelling phenomenal. Oop, making a mess. Looking good in the neighborhood. Now we're just gonna grill the pineapple. Like I say, just a couple minutes. You don't need to do it for real long. Doesn't really need to be cooked. Just, you know, warmed up. Our chicken's done. We can pull that. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and plate this up. So we're going to do a bed of rice. And this is just white rice with a little bit of, it's made with chicken broth and uh, soy sauce. So we're going to do a bed of rice. Just like so. We're going to do some chicken. Like so. Look at that. And some pineapple. Mm-hmm. Shut that off now. Now normally we'd be doing some pepper on this too, but we're not doing the peppers because she doesn't like the peppers, so I'll show you that in a minute when I do mine. Top with some sesame seeds. A little bit of parsley for color. And voila! Pineapple chicken. Looks like a winner to me. Alright, now we're doing mine up. So, we got the pineapple, we're adding to it. 
Well, these peppers are going to really add some color, which is pretty awesome. I'm just going to top it just like that. Now, I suppose you could, if you're making it for everybody in the house likes the same thing, you can most certainly toss everything together in a bowl. Dump your pineapple and your chicken and your peppers, not... shrimp, all in one bowl. And call it good. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. And call it good and then just dish it out. I unfortunately can't do that in my household. We have uh, picky eaters. So, we're going to top the same way. Sesame seeds, a little bit of parsley, the color. Bada bing, bada boom, we're done. There it is. So I gotta grab a fork, and then like always, we're gonna do a first taste together. Busting out the fine china. Uh, is it that bad? I'm gonna add a little more lime over the top of mine. I did do the shrimp, and I'm gonna add those in just on the side and just eat them, because I didn't take the tails off. Some more lime, there we go, yeah, all right. Well, there she is, looking phenomenal. The wife said, Bleh. but I know she's messing with me because I don't ever make bad food. Let's get a little bit of everything here. Extremely, extremely good. The peppers, the pineapple, the chicken. All go super good together. This is a winner. For sure. The only thing I think I would have done a little different. Some kind of sauce. I don't know. Some kind of sauce on it. Anywho, like, comment, share, subscribe. We appreciate it like always. We'll catch you guys on the next one. The recipe will be in the description below.